Michael Sapsford. Michael, this is a particularly lovely looking Bentley. A lot of effort gone into this. Beautiful colour scheme, but very much the two-door coupe of the time. I think it was very much 1930s Art Deco, really. Mm. The sweeping panel and the door handles with a sort of chiselled edges and that sort of thing. It was just uh, redolent of the period, wasn't it? You know, middle 30s and that's... Yeah. Uh, very very of much of those Grand Routiers. That's right, that's yeah. right, yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, we're very lucky to have uh, met the uh, family of the original owner. Right. Uh, and I didn't meet the second owner, unfortunately. The second owner kept it for 45 years. So, in fact, it's only done 90,000 miles now. That's extraordinary. Uh, but, of course, it's been repainted and, and re-upholstered, neither of which I did. Um, but I have overhauled the engine and things for it now. And, and uh, so we've got it running really very well. And so you've done a lot of the work on it yourself? Oh, the old mechanical work I do myself. That's oh, right, yes. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you owned it? About 12 years, something like right. that, I think. Yes, right. yes. And clearly invested a lot of time in it because it is, it's, it's absolutely pristine, isn't it? Well, you know, whoever painted it made a very good job of it. So, in fact, it was painted nearly 40 years ago. So, I mean, you sort of the paint's well, 40 years old. And it's lasted very well indeed, yes. 40 years? 40 years, 1983-84. The uh, widow of the second over finally sold it. They bought it in 1937, she said. And after the war, they were thinking of buying a new Bentley, but in fact, this one was so much admired and they liked it, so they sent it down to Hyth Road Service Depot and had it completely overhauled. Mm. Uh, and they kept it you know, for years and years and years after that. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. I, do, I, I have to say, you, you, if, if you're keeping that paintwork to that uh, condition, you have some spectacularly good polish somewhere. <laughs> it's just well done in the first place. Yeah. You know, and we had to. Uh, touch up one or two little bits, but really it's pretty did, much as it Did you have to do much inside? Next to the last, the owner before me, unfortunately, stored it in the damp. Oh. Uh, and the leather got this sort of white mould on it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, which is why I was able to buy it, luckily. Uh, but in fact, we, in the end, I tried recolouring it, but it didn't work. So we had to get the leather matched and we recovered the front seats and that right, sort of thing. Right. Had to be done again. Which is a shame, really, because it. A pity, but. but one likes to have original leather, it uh, and, gives a tremendous so. character to a, to a car. But gi given the fact that the rest of it is in such good condition, it would have been a shame to let it down with it, a poor interior. It would show interior. up, wouldn't it? If yeah. <laughs> That's right. yeah. Yeah. Wonderful car. Suicide doors, as was common in those days. Absolutely, that's right. It's interesting, it's got a double catch on the doors to try and prevent any, any problems. And you've got your normal door lock here. Right. And another one down there, look. Can we have a look under the under of course, the yes, yes. Yeah. That's pretty much as it was. Um, and you look after this and I, do I, all of this I yourself. The engine, so I took it out. And, uh, oh, you've had the engine all the way out. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. The, uh, this young lady who told me about her husband and this sort of thing, she said you had a local garage. Who trust she trusted, and unfortunately that trust was misplaced. They obviously never changed the oil or anything. It was quite badly oh, worn when I actually got right. put inside to have a look. But anyway, so we've overhauled it all now, and it's. Uh, uh, settling down, running very well. It's done about uh, five or six thousand miles since. Well, it's a, it's a great credit to you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. A wonderful car.